We always have to remember that definition of society. There is no society without the arts. It just doesn't exist. There are so many kids that will succeed in an art class that can't succeed in anything else. If you hear scratching, so like watch, I'll hold it the wrong way. Did you hear that? It means you're holding it the wrong way, right? Wrong way? Right way. Yeah? You know, it's, it's just such a golden opportunity to get to teach art full time because it is the first thing that gets cut or challenged on a budget. You know, it adds a pressure of teaching. Every year I want my program to really shine because I know it is a luxury item in most people's minds. At Montlake we think that um, art is just really fundamental to kids' development. And one of the things that the Impressionists liked to paint were still lifes. And we did some still lifes last year. I had some arrangements on each table of some interesting things that I brought from home. And I thought since we are practicing drawing and different types of lines, that we would do some fantastic still lifes today. I've had some teachers that, like in, let's say, the special ed department, that their student wasn't, you know, was struggling here and there, and then they took an art class, and they may not understand what's going on better, but they may be flourishing more as an individual or as a person after taking an art class because it's built up their self-esteem. The coolest thing about art, at least in my life experience and my experience here at Montlake, is that the kid that's struggling in a classroom, they can just, you know, kind of say like, let their freak flag fly a little, but they find their voice in here and it's really great to, it's really great and powerful to see. Need something tall, or this guy. This guy's got a lot of detail. Look at that. I need a four. Take this out. Look good. Maybe you have two. Start with that one.